The compression dynamo is a machine from the thermal expansion mod pack that can generate redstone flux. It requires two inputs, some form of liquefied fuel and a coolant. This table here details some of the fuels that the compression dynamo supports and the respective amount of redstone flux that each type will provide. The compression dynamo has no internal inventory slots, which means that buckets of fuel cannot be placed directly inside through the interface. You can simply right click on the exterior of the dynamo with the bucket in your hand however. Or, if you want, you can pump liquids in via buildcraft pipes or thermal expansion fluid ducts. On the compression dynamo's interface, fuels will appear in the left bar and the coolant will appear on the right. In this example, I'm just using water as a coolant, but there are more advanced coolants available. The compression dynamo will not start operating until it has both fuel and a coolant available. As soon as it does, it'll start producing redstone flux. And while redstone flux is being produced, the exterior of the dynamo will light up. This bar in the middle shows the amount of redstone flux inside its internal buffer. As the internal buffer fills up, the compression dynamo's rate of flux production will decrease. It'll produce flux at a rate of 80 per tick when its buffer is empty, and when the buffer's full, its output will drop to 4 redstone flux per tick. Also, the compression dynamo's internal redstone flux buffer will drain over time, meaning the dynamo will have to use fuel to keep up with the amount it's draining by. Effectively, this is just a waste of fuel. This is why it's best to have the flux transferred immediately to a more effective storage device, such as an energy cell. Redstone flux can be drawn out of the dynamo through this face. If you're connecting it directly to an energy cell, make sure it's facing the right way. Or, if you're using energy conduits, make sure they're connected to the correct face. There are three other dynamos that you might be interested in. I have separate tutorials for all of those located here if you're interested. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a like. And if you want to see more tutorials like this one, you might want to consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments and have a great day.